Hi parents, today I want to show you how to get on to Seesaw. There are two ways to get on to your student's learning journal. The first way is through a computer. Now, if I am using the computer, I'm going to go on to the Seesaw website. I'm going to click on I'm a student. This is for your child to complete assignments that have been assigned. I'm going to click there. Once I'm, I've clicked, I'm going to type in the text code. This was a code that your teacher might have sent you with letters. Or you can scan using your device's camera, scan the QR code. I have the code here. I'm going to hit go and I'm in my student's journal. I want to show you a few features. There are three here listed. The first one is a journal, which is like a portfolio. Um, your teacher might assign a video link or might um, post a morning message here in journal. Activities are assignments that your, your teacher has assigned. And sometimes there might be a video link or a um, PDF or an image. This is where most of your activities are going to be. You also have the inbox. If your teacher has this feature turned on, he or she can communicate with the teacher. So let's complete our first activity. I'm here in activities. I'm going to add a response. First, read the directions. And you have a choice of writing your spelling words on a piece of paper at home or you may complete the activity in Seesaw. So I want to choose to do the activity in Seesaw. And to do this activity, you are going to be using text boxes. I just want to show you a few other things on this screen. Down here, you're going to have an eraser, a highlighter, and different pen tools. Over on this side, you have your text boxes. You have your microphone. If your teacher wants you to do a recording, it will prompt you and do a countdown. Here is a photo. And let's click on here. This is shapes and backgrounds. So to do this activity, I'm going to use the text box. And my teacher wants me to write this three times. So I've chosen to do it right in Seesaw. Now, to change this text box, I click away. I'm going to drag this. I can also drag from the corner to make it smaller. This changes the font size. If I press these three buttons, I can lock this image. Here I can change the style. I can make this right justified, centered, or I'm sorry, left justified, center, or right justified. I can also duplicate and delete this if I've made a mistake. Once I'm done completing this page, I'm going to go over here to the check button and it will upload my assignment and my teacher is waiting for, I'm waiting for my teacher's approval. I hope that you found this useful and you can ask questions below. Hi families, I want to show you how to use your cell phone or mobile device to complete the assignments that your teacher has assigned. You're going to need two apps. So go into your app store. You're going to download Seesaw Class and Seesaw Family. Seesaw Class is for the assignments. If you look here, this is Seesaw Class. To receive notifications and messages as a parent, you're going to download Seesaw Family. So once you have downloaded the app on your phone, you are going to enter the text code in Seesaw Class. This is to access all the assignments that your teacher um, has provided. So I'm entering my text code. You can also scan your QR code. You want to make sure that you hit notify me so that your notifications are turned on and you can get messages from your teacher. Once you are in your child's journal and you've selected activities, you can complete the assignment the same way. I am adding text boxes to this spelling list and I can move 
the spelling boxes the same way, dragging it, clicking away, and come pulling in from the corner. So once you've hit check, it'll say waiting for teacher approval. And this is item updated because I copy and edited. But you're going to wait for your teacher's approval and then it'll go into the journal. So there you go. I hope you found this useful.